On October 16, 1859, John Brown and nearly two dozen slaves seized the armory at Harper's Ferry in West Virginia, hoping to use its massive arsenal in the struggle to end slavery. Captured and brought to trial at nearby Charleston, Brown was found guilty of treason. One month before his execution, he addressed a courtroom in Charleston, West Virginia. I have, may it please the court, a few words to say. In the first place, I deny everything but what I have all along admitted, the design on my part to free the slaves. I intended certainly to have made a clear thing of that matter as I did last winter when I went into Missouri and there took slaves without the snapping of a gun on either side, moved them through the country, and finally left them in Canada. I designed to have done that same thing again on a larger scale. That was all I intended. I never intended murder or treason, or destruction of property, or to excite or incite the slaves to rebellion, or make insurrection. I have another objection, and that is, it is unjust that I should suffer such a penalty. Had I interfered in the manner which I admit, and which I admit has been fairly proved, had I so interfered in behalf of the rich, the powerful, the intelligent, the so-called great, or in behalf of any of their friends, either father, mother, brother, sister, wife, or children, or any of that class, and suffered and sacrificed what I have in this interference, it would have been all right. And every man in this courtroom would have deemed it an act worthy of reward rather than punishment. Now, this court acknowledges, I suppose, the validity of the law of God. I see a book kissed here, which I suppose to be the Bible, or at least the New Testament. <laughs> that teaches me that whatsoever I would that men should do to me, I should do even so to them. And it teaches me further to remember them that are in bonds as bound with them. I endeavored to act up to, to that instruction. Now, I say I am yet too young to understand that God is any respecter of persons. I believe that to have interfered as I have done as I have always freely admitted I have done in behalf of his despised poor, was not wrong, but right. Now, if it is deemed that I, if it is deemed necessary that I should forfeit my life for the furtherance of the ends of justice, and mingle my blood with the blood of my children, and with the blood of millions in this slave country whose rights are disregarded by wicked, cruel, and unjust enactments, I submit, so let it be done. 